it's 2025 and I'll show you how to turn your boring login page like this to this. I'll take you through it step by step using Elementor and a free plugin that over 200,000 people are actually using. And it's not just about the design. If you're worried about bots slowing down your site or worse, taking it down through DDoS attacks, I'll even show you how to add Google Recapture and a free firewall to help protect your website. Also, the layout we're building works great on mobile too. So your users have a smooth experience no matter what device they're on. I've already added the template in the description below. So once you're done watching, you can just download it and try it out yourself. Let's dive in. First, we need to install the Ultimate Member plugin. Just go to your WordPress dashboard, click on Add New Plugin and search for Ultimate Member. Once you find it, go ahead and install it. Now, activate it and it will ask you if you want to create the default pages like login, register, account, and so on. You can either select a few or just go ahead and create all of them. Once you've done that, hit save changes. Now we're going to customize the login form. On the left side of your dashboard, you'll see a new menu called ultimate member. Click on forms and open up the default login form. You'll see the shortcode for the form on the left. Just copy that somewhere because we'll be using that later on. Now we're going to customize this form to match our brand. First toggle on the option that says customize, then enable the setting that shows label inside the text fields as placeholders. That just makes the form look cleaner and also turn on the button that lets people register. Also make sure to click the forget option password as well and enable it. Now let's edit the actual fields in the form. I'll start with the username field, take the label text and place it into the placeholder section. Make this field required and hit update. Do the same thing for the password field you can set a maximum and a minimum password length. And if you don't want people to use strong passwords, you can actually disable that option as well. Obviously, I don't recommend doing so. Also, make this field required as well. Hit update. Now go over to the registration form and do the exact same thing. Now let's create the actual login page using Elementor. Go to your pages section and open the default login page. Click on edit with Elementor. Now add a new container and set it to full height. Pick a light background color Something clean that fits your site style. Inside that, add another container. This one should be smaller than full width. This helps the content feel more centered and easy to use. Now, we'll split the layout into two columns. On the left side, add a background image. You can use something abstract or anything related to your brand. On top of that, place your logo image. Adjust the top padding to move the logo into the right spot visually. On the right side, add a heading, something simple like welcome back or sign in. Then style it however you like. Below that, drag in a shortcode widget. Then go back to ultimate member login form and copy the shortcode from there. Paste it into this widget. Now just make sure to optimize this design for mobile devices as well and you're done. That's it. Now you've got a fully designed login section with a form that actually works. Now that our login page is ready, let's reuse this design for the register page. First, save the login page as a template inside Elementor and now go back to the register page and insert the login template you just saved. Then update the heading to say create account or sign up. After that, replace the login shortcode with the registration form shortcode from Ultimate Member. Hit publish and you're done. You now have two matching pages, one for login, one for registration and both look way better than the default WordPress version. Now go back to the WordPress dashboard, click on Ultimate Member and choose Users. This is where you'll see everyone who's registered along with the details. You can also manage approval status and user roles right here. If you ever need to change where your users are redirected after login or sign up, just go back into the form settings and update the redirect links. Right now, the forms look great but we still need to protect them from spam and bot attacks. While recapture helps block most of the fake logins, sometimes bots still manage to get through. That's where a firewall comes in. I am using Malcare, which is a free WordPress firewall that you can install like any other plugin. It turns quietly in the background and basically acts like a shield, blocking suspicious traffic, stopping brute force attacks, and keeping your site from getting overloaded proactively. And I've linked it below in case you want to set it up. All right, let's move on and add Google Recapture. Start by installing the Google Recapture add-on. It's free. Just search for it in the plugin section, install and activate it. Now go to the ultimate member settings, open the extensions tab, 
and turn on the recapture feature. Choose the version as V2. To get the site key and the secret key, go to the Google recapture page. I've added the link in the video description. Once you're there, give your site a name, select recapture V2 and check the I'm not a robot option. Then enter your domain name. It should just be the domain, no HTTPS or slashes. Now agree to the terms and click submit. Google will now show you a site key and a secret key. Copy them both. Head back to your WordPress site, go to the recapture settings and paste the keys in. Then choose where you want to show the recapture. I'm using it for both my login and registration forms. Now save everything, reload the page and you'll see the recapture box appear on your form. And while we're here, if you want people to be able to sign up using their Google accounts, you can do that too. But just a quick heads up, this part requires a pro plan if you want to use it directly inside Ultimate Member. If you do decide to get the pro plan, then here's the process that you need to follow. I'll just use a free plugin called Nextend Social Login for the demo. Once that is installed, click on Get Started under the Google option. You'll need to log in with your Google Developer Console, create a new project, and set up an OAuth screen and get your client ID. Google will walk you through it step by step. Just make sure to copy the authorized redirect URL from the plugin. Once the keys are generated, you have to go back to WordPress and paste them in. After pasting in the keys, click on Verify. Now you'll be able to customize the button style, sync user data, and enable the login with Google feature. And that's it. You should now be able to log in with Google and you can even follow the same process to set up login with Facebook. You've now created a custom login and sign up page that actually looks good, works smoothly and protects your site at the same time. And the best part, you didn't even have to write a single line of code. The template is linked in the pinned comment below. So go download it and customize it for your site. I'll see you in the next one. In this three minute video, I'll show you how to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.